Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Educate Channel. So we will be continuing veterinary surgery and radiology section unit one, that is general surgery. So our next topic is sterilization and disinfection. So we are all familiar with this topic, but we need to arrange those topics into some portions so that we can study it perfectly. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button. So first of all, sterilization. What does it mean? Sterilization refers to any process that removes, kills or deactivates all forms of life. That is bacteria, fungi, bacterial spore, fungi spores, unicellular, eukaryotic organisms such as plasmodium, virus and all. All will be killed or deactivated. That is known as sterilization. So what is then disinfection? The process of cleaning something especially with a chemical in order to destroy bacteria so instruments must undergo high level disinfection before reuse mainly bacteria will be killed here by using a chemical so difference between disinfection and sterilization yeah you can just read it out disinfection is the process of elimination of pathogenic microorganisms pathogenic microorganisms see the point pathogenic microorganisms Sterilization, you can see removal of any kind of living species on that region. So next is, these are some protocols that we should always follow in any labs. Cleaning means that will remove the germs, dirt and impurities. Sanitize, that is lowers the number of germs on the surface. Disinfect means kills all germs of the surface, that is except spores. Sterilize means kills and remove all forms of via heat process, that is 100% accuracy. So need for sterilization. Why do we need to sterilize instruments and all? So sterilization destroys all microorganisms on the surface of an article or in a fluid to prevent disease transmission. A sterile surface or object is completely free of living organisms and viruses. So sterilization procedure kills all microorganisms so that we can prevent contamination or infection. Methods used in sterilization procedures include heat, Ethylene oxide gas, hydrogen peroxide gas, plasma therapy, ozone therapy, radiation therapy, etc. So classification. First of all, we will classify them as physical sterilization and chemical sterilization. So under physical, we will be getting thermal, that is by using heat energy. Next is filtration, next is radiation. So in chemical sterilization, we will be mainly using the germicidal solutions, glutaraldehyde, beta, propyl acetone, ethylene oxide, etc. So first of all, moving to the physical sterilization. So the first one is the thermal sterilization. The thermal sterilization uses the thermal liability of the microorganism to prevent its growth. So at elevated temperature, the enzymes of the microorganisms won't be working or they'll get degraded and they get dying. So medium shall remain unharmed unless it is thermally unstable. So different types of autoclaves used are pressure steam sterilizer, steam pressure sterilizer, vacuum steam sterilizer, dressing sterilizer and gravity displacement sterilizer. So you can see all those things, pressure steam sterilizer. We might have seen these things in our uh, veterinary public health and veterinary surgery and radiology labs. These are types of autoclave that is pressure cooker type, vertical autoclave, common laboratory autoclave, horizontal autoclave and large automatic hospital autoclave. So this is actually a parts of an autoclave system that is vertical autoclave. This is the difference between autoclave and a pressure cooker. So this is actually autoclave versus dry heat sterilizer. So the points to be considered. So instrument packs are positioned vertically on edge and longitudinally in the autoclave. A 13 minute sterilizing cycle that is mainly 121 degrees Celsius is a safe minimum required period. So in case of large linen packs, it requires 30 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius. So sharp instruments and scissors, needles, surgical instruments can be sterilized by this method. So in dry heat sterilization, dry heat destroys microorganism primarily by oxidation process. So next is the methods that is direct exposure of instrument to flame that is not reliable actually. But hot air oven method is very common and exposure to dry heat at a temperature of 1600 degrees Celsius 
for 60 minutes will achieve sterilization equal to that of moist heat producing for 50 minutes. So these are some uh, time temperature combinations that is 120 degree Celsius for 8 hours, 140 degree Celsius for 2.5 hours, 160 degree Celsius for 1 hour and 170 degree Celsius for 40 minutes. So mainly stainless uh, stainless steel glens and glassware will be mainly 1600 degree Celsius for 60 minutes and exposure time relates to the time after specific temperature has been achieved. So next is the filtration. So first is the heat and thermal sterilization. Next is filtration. So filtration is used in air conditioning system to remove particles as small as 0.3 new meter in diameter and also used to filter sterilize heat level solutions. So this is actually size range of microbes. So many filtration organs will be there in the any filtration content providers. So next is radiation. So ultraviolet light is used for surface sterilization. Ionizing radiations, beta and cathode rays are used to sterilize heat sensitive pre-packed surgical materials. So there are many heat sensitive surgical materials where we cannot use thermal sterilization. In those cases, we can use ultraviolet radiations or ionizing radiations. So in example of surgical mask, we'll be using ionizing radiations to produce two-fold effect and all. So this is radioactive isotopes that is most popular, simple and easily controlled, widely applicable. But in electron beam accelerator, we will be using electron beam and X-rays. It has got high depth of penetration in case of X-ray. So radiations can be divided into non-ionizing radiations and ionizing radiations. Infrared radiation and UV radiations are the non-ionizing and X-rays and gamma rays are the ionizing radiations. This is UV radiation. Yeah, UV radiations will be killing almost all pathogenic organisms and microbes. So next is actually the chemical sterilization. So chemical agents and ideal chemical agents should have the following properties like kill all pathogenic microorganisms work effectively in short period of time, not corrode, dry or stain, be stable, odorless, non-toxic, be effective in presence of organic matter, could not be inactivated by other concurrently used chemicals. So mainly the first is agents in solution form. We will be using those chemical agents in solution form. That is alcohol and aldehyde. So ethyl alcohol and isopropyl alcohol are very common. So presence of water is denaturized protein. Isopropyl alcohol is more bacterial than ethyl alcohol. So next is aldehyde that is formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde. Common name are CIDEX and parvocytes. So you can see the isopropyl alcohol 70%. This is the disinfectant used in hospitals and for free sanitation. This is the CIDEX solution and this is the glutaraldehyde sterilizing and disinfecting solution. So next is the formaldehyde that is mainly used as formalin 37%. Used as a gas for fumigation and oxidizing agents are halogens, surfactants are also used that's as soaps and detergents. Phenolic derivatives are carbolic acid mainly used in the phenol labs. So this is formaldehyde sterilizer. So next is chemical sterilization by gases. Mainly we will be using ethylene oxide. So they will be activating and they will be working like they will be completely inactivating the DNA molecules. And further reproduction of the bacterial cell will be lost. So they will be attacking the enzymes which has got a role in the reproduction and they will be binding and they will be breaking those enzymes such that they won't contribute for further cellular reproduction. So mainly sharp edge instruments that are scalpel blades and hypodermic needles are chemical sterilized. So this is ethylene oxide sterilizer mainly used in hospital labs and vault to sterilize needles and scalpel blades. So this is commonly used disinfectant in veterinary practice. You can see the alcohol isopropyl, ethyl alcohol, that is disinfectant properties and antiseptic properties. Then commonly used antiseptics in veterinary practice, you can see this. So thank you guys.